Rotary's survival key is figuring out how to keep old guys like me fired up and interested and meet the needs of our younger people. I think Rotary just needs to worldwide just keep exploring new ways to stay relevant. The challenge is continuing to find energetic people to become members. If you don't have adequate membership, you can't generate the resources. Uh, not only the skills of the people involved, but the financial resources. I'm hoping that Rotary will make needed changes so that we can be contemporized, so that we can be an inviting opportunity for young people, because without the young people joining Rotary, Rotary will cease to exist. I believe we can modify how Rotary does its good works to bring those members in. That means being open to new opportunities, maybe things that aren't traditional opportunities. I remember the time that the Bellingham clubs discussed whether women should be in Rotary. You know, women were not allowed in Rotary until the late 1970s, and uh, we've come a long way. I remember sitting in the board of directors meeting when the subject was broached about bringing women into Rotary dead silence in the room. I remember voting on it. I voted against it. <laughs> I don't think maybe I, maybe I don't want to let that be known. <laughs> I voted against uh, including women, but it was a mistake. I recall we lost a few members uh, over it. I also recall we lost a few members when we restricted smoking, so. <laughs> it's an important reminder of some of the things that we take for granted today are really relatively new, historically. Despite Rotary's being on the planet for 120 years and in Bellingham for 100 years, all the needs that are out there haven't been filled by all the good work that Rotary has done. And in fact, there's probably more need out there today than there ever was, and, it'll, and I think it'll always be that way. I think it was Martin Luther King that said that life's most persistent and urgent question is what are we doing for others? And in this day of incredible divisiveness, I think it's just so important for Rotary to continue to provide a model of people from all over the world coming together and doing what they can to help others that need help. Yesterday was, I hope, important, and I hope it's important today, but 50 years from now, nobody's apt to remember us as individuals. Maybe they'll remember what we did. The Rotary Club of Bellingham has an amazing 100-year legacy of giving back to the community. But I truly believe it is just the beginning, and the next 100 years is going to be more significant, more visible. We might look different, but I believe that Rotary will be able to continue to do these great works the next 100 years.